Hello class. Today we are going to look at similar right triangles. All right, we've done a lot of looking at right triangles. We've looked at a lot of similar triangles. Today we're going to put this stuff together. All right. So first, the right triangle similarity theorem says if an altitude is drawn to the hypotenuse of a right triangle, then the two triangles formed are similar to the original triangle and also to each other. Okay, so here we have an altitude drawn from the right angle to the hypotenuse, which cuts it into two little triangles, like so, right? And all three of these triangles are going to be similar to each other, and we can prove this really quickly using angle-angle similarity, right? This larger piece of the triangle has angle A, right? And we just take it and move it down. So angle A here is congruent to angle A there, I've got a right triangle, a right angle, and a right angle, which means I have angle-angle similarity there. Here, angle B is the same as angle B in the large triangle, so these two are congruent, and they both have right angles, so again, we have angle-angle similarity. Now, these two don't have it marked, the next to one. However, since angle ADC is similar to angle AB, uh, ACB, that means angle C is congruent to angle B because it's similar figures, which means I have angle-angle similarity here as well. Okay. Now, you do have to be careful with this, and it is a little bit tricky looking at this and figuring out which sides go with which sides. It helps a lot to draw them out. All right. When you draw them out, you can see which angles work. When you take them and you separate them, then it works out a lot better. All right. Okay. So, we're going to talk about one other thing, and this is the geometric mean. Now, you've all talked about the um, arithmetic mean. That's where you add them all up, and then you divide by having pieces you have, right? Geometric mean is simpler and a little bit weirder at the same time, all right? The geometric mean, the way this works, is you want to take the geometric mean between two numbers, A and B, you set them up in a proportion like this, to where A over X is equal to X over B. And X is the geometric mean. So what this work does, you cross multiply, right? So A times B is equal to X times X. X squared is A times B. We, of course, don't want X squared. We want X. So you take the square root of both sides. And X, your geometric mean, is equal to the square root of your two numbers multiplied together. And geometric mean is only done with two numbers. You're not going to do it with a bunch of numbers, just with two numbers. All right? And the reason we have this, and we're bringing this up now, is because we can use this with these right triangles. Right? In a right triangle, the altitude from the right angle to the hypotenuse divides the hypotenuse into two segments. Right? You got segment AD and segment DB. Right? the length of the altitude is going to be the geometric mean of those two segments, which, like, eh, this doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, right? Well, what this is doing is taking this property here and the geometric mean and putting it together. Since these are similar triangles, that means that these segments are going to be proportional. All the sides are proportional for similar triangles, right? So what we have here, I'm going to take this, and I'm going to break this up into to those two other triangles, right? So this is not going to be the scale. It's going to look hideous, but that's okay. So we have A, C, D. And over here, we have right angle C, B, D, right? So here, A, D is the long leg and the hypotenuse. So putting this into a ratio, we have... AD, the long leg, over the hypotenuse of this triangle, CD, equals, since they're similar, let's see, the long leg here would be CD over, what do we have? We had, oh, no, I said hypotenuse, didn't I? I've got the long leg over the short leg, so here I want long leg over short leg, DB. DB. And so we see when we cross multiply, we have CD squared and AD times DPD, right? And it's because these are similar triangles that this works, and we end up looking for that geometric mean, okay? 
Same kind of thing works down here, the geometric mean leg theorem. In this, again, it divides the hypotenuse into two segments, and the length of each leg of the right triangle is the geometric mean of the lengths of the hypotenuse and the segment of the hypotenuse that is adjacent to the leg. Right? So I'm just going to do one of these. We'll do this first one, CB. CB is in this little triangle here. So I'm just going to pull triangle CBD out. Right? CBD. Okay? And this time we're comparing this little triangle to the entire big triangle. Right? So CB is the hypotenuse. And let's see, we're also going to use this segment here, this piece of the hypotenuse. So we're going to use the hypotenuse of the little triangle and the short leg. Okay, so hypotenuse and short leg. So the hypotenuse, CB, over the short leg, which is DB, equals hypotenuse of the big triangle, AB, over the short leg of the big triangle, which is CB. And so again, you see we have this geometric mean, CB over DB, so we're going to cross multiply. CB times CB is CB squared, and then we have DB times AB for the other side. So again, we're looking at geometric mean. All right, And it works the same if we're using the other triangle. Okay? All right, let's take a look at some of these. We'll do some examples. It'll make more sense. All right. So let's take a look at these first two. And these, number one and number two, all we want to do, identify similar triangles. Okay? So that's simple enough. The tricky part is making sure you get the different, ver uh, different vertices going with each other. Right? So again, I'm going to pull these out because it makes more sense to me if I actually pull this out so I can see it. Okay, so here is H, J, K, and H is congruent to H. Over here, I have my right angle there. So this is K, J, and I, and I is congruent to I. So now, when I write my similarity statements, triangle, I'll start with the big one, H, J, <coughs> H, J, I, H, J, I, is similar to triangle, we'll go with this one first. Well, H is going to go with H, so we'll put that one first. And then we have J. J in the original triangle is the right angle, so that's going to go with K. And then I, now that's going with the only thing left, J. All right, similar to triangle, we'll look at this one. Let's see here, H in the big triangle, I'm not really sure, it's kind of weird. Let's see here, I is I, so that's going to be my last one. And so J must go with H. So we'll have J, then we have J here was the right angle, so that's going to go with K. And then we had angle I, which is congruent to angle I. So there are my similar triangles. Huh? What I'd like you to do real quickly, pause the video and get your similarity statement for triangle 2. All right, let's see how you did. Again, I'm going to pull these out. So I have, there's my right angle. This is OPM. And let's pull this one out over here. Let's just move it up. Here's my right angle there. And this is M, P, N. Let's see, N is congruent to N. Over here we have O congruent to O. Right. So let's see here. Triangle, take the big one first. Triangle O, M, N. O, M, N. Will be similar to triangle, let's see here. O goes with O. M is my right angle, which in this one, my right angle is P. And so that means N here is going to match up with M there. All right. And now our little triangle. Let's see here. O here, well, it's not P, because that was my right angle. It's not N, because that's there, so this must be M. Let's see here. Then I have M, my 
right angle, so right angle there is P, and then N is congruent to N. So there it is. Right. And there's our similarity statements. And as you see, it is much easier if you draw those other triangles out, pull them away from the main triangle. All right, let's take a look at 3 and 4. 3 and 4, we want to find the geometric mean of the two numbers. All right, so that's not too bad. All we're going to do is find the geometric mean. All right, A over X equals X over B. So, 2 over X equals 6, ah, sorry, equals X over 6. Cross multiply, we end up with X squared equals 2 times 6. So X is the square root of 12. Now we can't leave it as the square root of 12. We have to simplify. So that would be the square root of 4 times the square root of 3. And the square root of 4 is 2. So I have 2, the square root of 3. So X equals 2 square roots of 3. And there it is. All right. Go ahead and pause the video and you work out number 4. All right, you're back. Let's see how you did. Right. And I'm actually going to take a little bit of a shortcut. I could, well, I'm going to go ahead and set up the thing here. So we have 2, not 2, what did I down to? 5, new problem. 5 over x equals x over 45. And I'm just going to jump down here to this line. So this is going to give me x is equal to the square root of 5 times 45 x equals the square root of, what is 5 times 45? I'm going to get my calculator here. 5 times 45, which is 225. 225. And that looks familiar. I think that actually does have a square root. And that is 15. So here, x equals 15. All right. And there you go. So not too bad. Okay, let's look at the rest of these. 5 through 8 all have the same instructions. Find the value of the variable. Okay, so you notice we have a right triangle. They gave us the two segments that make up the hypotenuse of the large right triangle, and we are looking for the altitude. Okay, now what I'm going to do, yes, we could look at the theorems. Right? We are looking for the altitude theorem, right? The altitude is the geometric mean of the two segments of the hypotenuse. All right. I am going to break this down into the two triangles because it makes more sense to me. And I'll admit, I have a hard time remembering these theorems. Okay, So I always just draw them out. And if I was better at this, I wouldn't have to. But I'm not, so I do. All right. So here we have this is 16 and this is x. Right. And looking at this, this is going to be the long leg. So I'm going to put that as long leg, and this is the short leg. All right. My other triangle, coming over here, All right. this is my right angle, this is 9, this is x. I see, and on this triangle, though, x is the long leg, and 9 is the short leg. Now, I know that, the, that since this is an altitude of a right triangle, that these two triangles are going to be similar, right? And so, I can set up my proportion. I'm going to put long leg, 16, over short leg, x, equals long leg of my little triangle, x, over short leg of my little triangle, 9. And as you see, this is just the geometric mean, same thing we did right here. So I end up with x is equal to the square root of 9 times 16. All right, so x equals the square root of, what is 9 times 16? 9 times 16 is 144. 144, and I remember that one. Hopefully you do too. That is 12. There it is. All right, so let's look at the back, see what we got here. Number six, same thing. We're looking for the variable. So in this case, we're looking for y uh, there. And this is, well, this is the leg of the large triangle. And it is the hypotenuse 
uh, of this little piece of a triangle, right? So I'm just going to pull this triangle out. Well, here's my right angle. Let's see, this is y, this is 9. So here, y is my hypotenuse, and 9 is the long leg. So I'm just going to put L, L for long leg. All right. Now, on my big triangle, y is not the hypotenuse, because for the big triangle, my right angle is here. So this is the long leg, and so this is my hypotenuse. So I'm going to put this into my, my little portions. All right. So hypotenuse over long leg equals hypotenuse, which in this case is 9 plus 2. So that's 11 over the long leg, which is y. So here again, you see we have geometric mean. We have y squared equals 9 times 11. So y is equal to the square root of 99. 99 is not a perfect square. But we don't want to leave it like that, so we are going to simplify this. Let's see, that will be 9 times 11. Square root of 9 is 3, outside of the square root. And so here, y equals 3 times the square root of 11. All right. And I'll be honest, really, just being able to set aside and figure out which pieces are similar to the other, honestly, is easier than remembering the, the formulas. Right. So here we are looking for T, which is the hypotenuse of the large triangle. We do have this little bitty piece right there, and we have this side here. And you'll notice that is the hypotenuse of this little triangle. So I'm going to pull that out real quick. It's going to be a little bit bigger, but that's okay, because I can't draw that small and make it work. So this is 7, and this is 49. Looking at this, this is the short leg, and this is the hypotenuse. And here, 49 is the short leg, and T is the hypotenuse. So I'm going to set up my proportion. T, the hypotenuse, over the short leg, which is 49. All right, and I'll just go ahead and write that down. I'm going to put hypotenuse over short leg. All right, so over here I need hypotenuse, so my little triangle, which was 49 over the short leg, which is 7. All right, so we'll work this out. We've got 49 squared equals 7t. All right, 49 squared is really big. What is it? Uh, oops, if I don't. Stop it. 49 squared. There we go. 2,401 equals 7t. We divide both sides by 7. And T equals 343. All right. So I want you to pause the video and you work out number 8. And then come back and see how you did. All right. Let's see what we got. So here we have the altitude again. And we have two pieces of the hypotenuse. Right. Well, since we have the altitude, that's in the middle. So we can't use the whole big triangle. We have to use the two little pieces. So I have right, triangle, 3 and 6. I'm not using the hypotenuse here. This is the short leg. This is the long leg. Over here for this one, I have 6 and A plus 4. All right. In this case, 6 is the short leg. And A plus 4 is the long leg. I'm going to set up my proportion here. I will do short leg over long leg because why not? And so my short leg is 3. My long leg is 6. Over here, my short leg is 6. And my long leg is A plus 4. Cross multiply. Use our cross products. And we have 6 squared equals 3 times A plus 4. 6 squared is 36, and here I have to distribute in, so that becomes 3a plus 12. Subtract 12 from both sides, right? Minus 12, minus 12, and I end up with 24 equals 3a, divide by 3, and a equals 8. 
and there it is. All right, so not too bad. A couple of things to remember. All right, first off, the altitude of a right triangle drawn from the right angle to the hypotenuse is going to divide the right triangle into three similar triangles. Right? Only works when drawn from the right angle, because if I drew a, uh, an altitude from angle A here, it would just be segment AC, and that doesn't divide anything. So, always drawn from the right angle to the hypotenuse, you'll have two smaller triangles that are similar to the large triangle and similar to each other. All right. Geometric mean is a number such that A over X equals X over B. So the geometric mean of a number is the square root of those two numbers multiplied together. All right. And that altitude that we talked about right here is the geometric mean of the two pieces of the hypotenuse when it gets divided up. And honestly, these right here, I usually forget them. I can't keep them straight. It bothers me. I'm just not good at that. So much, much easier to draw the triangles out that you're looking for, all right? And then just set them up as a proportion, all right? If you can remember the theorems, great. If you can remember which one is the geometric mean of which other two segments, awesome. It'll be faster for you. But if you can't, that's fine. Just draw the triangles out, set up your proportion, and that'll work just as good. All right? So hopefully you found that useful, and I'll see you in the next video.